Now let's see how to separate given a log of a complex number into its real and imaginary parts. So we are given say x plus i y right and we have to split its log into real and imaginary parts. Immediately what you do is convert it into polar form. So r times cos theta plus i sin theta right. So just very quickly you can do this have a point let this be x plus i y. So this would be the real numbers and this is the imaginary numbers. So this would be x this would be y this would be the r and this would be the theta. So here r is going to be Pythagoras theorem because this is 90 degree. So that would be x square plus y square square and uh, cos theta is what since it is there here let us cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse y by r okay so anyhow you got this idea now we want a quantity which includes both y and x so what is y x and y they are opposite and adjacent so we have tan theta is equal to y by x okay now theta would be equal to tan inverse of y by x now let's start with the original statement x plus i y is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta now what we are going to do is take the log of both sides so log e of x plus i y is equal to log e of r times cos theta plus i sin theta okay now see this is where you need to remember uh, uh, certain things remember cos theta plus i sin theta can also be written as e to the power of i theta exponential form okay now since it is a product based on log, uh, log rules we can write it as log e r plus log to the base e of e to the power of i theta now we can write this as log e r plus the exponent we can bring it to the front i theta log e of e okay and this log and e will cancel out so that will become one so therefore we have log e r plus i theta is what theta is tan inverse of y by x so i times tan inverse of y by x i have done one substitution but for r also we can do the substitution so log e of square root of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse of y by x again we can the square root can be written as 1 by 2 and that 1 by 2 can be brought in front so log of x square plus y square plus i tan inverse of y by x so that is what here on the left hand side log e of x plus i y okay so now this is the principal value so the general value will be log e of x plus i y half of log of x square plus y square plus i times 2n pi plus tan inverse of y by x. So this becomes the general value 
and this becomes the principal value right so that is separating the log of a complex number into its real part and its imaginary part that's it bye